Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Nia and I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about animation. We're gonna talk about Netflix. We're gonna talk about former, former Pixar Disney boss, John Lasseter, and how apparently Netflix is scrapping a lot of its own in-house movies to let John Lasseter come in with Skydance mm -hmm. because they've canceled that deal with Apple. So this is pretty interesting because uh, Cartoon Brew is an industry insider website and they do get people that work in the animation industry commenting and the comments are kind of golden because we have people that are like, he's a perv, he's a whatever. And then other people are like, there's no proof of that. And other people are like, oh, this is why Netflix burned down its own animation because they had a chance to get John Lasseter mm -hmm. to take over. So Even though some of the Skydance stuff wasn't doing that hot lately. They, they did uh, Luck, which did not do that well, I guess. Uh, I, now I saw the trailer for it. I thought it looked okay, but people said the movie itself wasn't that good. I don't know. But, you know, Netflix, uh, they've been known for the last couple of years now. They've actually had some movies that were pretty decent. So... We'll see. We'll see what happens. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get a woohoo if you woo do. Uh, if you want a bigger woohoo, go out to shopclownfish.com. Help support Shadowbinders Volume 3. We're doing pre orders. Uh, it's coming out next summer. If you want to secure your copy and also you have a chance to get uh, Volumes 1 and 2, this is our, our comic. Uh, go out to shopclownfish.com. Mm -hmm. Link in the description. Uh, let's talk about John Lasseter. Now, for those of you who don't know, he was pretty much the beating heart and soul of Pixar. Yes. And after Disney ousted him for nebulous reasons. Uh-uh, he was touchy, too touchy-feely. He was too touchy-feely. Uh, they ousted him. Pixar has definitely suffered for it. Uh, I don't even know what he did exactly. I heard he got drunk and maybe hugged people more than he should have. He might have put his hand on a woman's leg when he shouldn't have, but not in a sexual way, just in a, like a leaning in kind of a way. I don't know. Leaning in just know. sounds creepy, babe. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like I what? Mean, put, just put your hands on anybody's legs in general. But I, I like some people just do it like when they're talking or they're laughing or something, they'll do that. And it's not meant to be like, it's not meant to be pervy, but. No, and some people, yeah, it makes me uncomfortable. I've had people do that. You don't go like they hug you. It's like, I, I don't. I he's don't, weird. I, I, I he's have, still like one hugs my mom and she's she's just like. I don't like being touched much. Oh, that's not true. Well, it depends on who's doing the touching. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of weird about it. I've always been kind of weird about it. John Laster is not. John Laster, everything I've heard about him is this guy is touchy-feely, hands-on, huggy. If you go to Pixar or if you went to Pixar, you know, when he was there, you were probably going to get a hug. And uh, I do know people like this, like yeah. they'll start talking to you and then they, they'll like, like touch your chest or they'll like touch your arm or something. I'm like, this is getting, oh, well, don't. it's like being around a bunch of girls and like, oh my God, and then hugging each other and stuff like that. I would not know what that's like. I'm, oh, I'm, a, I'm a hugger sometimes. She, she is. Anyway, she is. can we talk about what's important, which is this? Which is this. Yeah. So that's, that's why he got gone. Anyway, if, if it was really bad. He would, have, he would have been out the door like that day. They let him right out of his contract at Disney. Uh, it's coming from Cartoon Brew. John Lasseter, shocker, shocker. John Lasseter and Skydance Animation ditch Apple for a Netflix deal. And this is a very short uh, article here, but we'll talk about how, how Netflix is uh, shutting down a lot of its own productions and the comments are golden. Uh, Skydance Animation, David Ellison's animation studio run by the disgraced Creative chief of Pixar and Disney, John Lasseter. I would say that this grace is more Pixar of modern year. But anyway. Uh, it's ended its distribution deal with Apple after releasing just one feature, the poorly reviewed Luck. Its future output will now be released by Netflix. There's no official reason why Apple and Skydance parted ways so soon after signing a multi-year pact, but Variety suggests the two companies mutually agreed that Spellbound was not fit for Apple's expanding narrative slate thus necessitating its move Sounds to Netflix. Sounds like Apple dropped him. That's, I mean, I'm sorry. Reading between the lines, it reads like Apple dropped him. Are they criticizing China by any chance? I don't know, but that's what it sounds like. It sounds like Apple dropped Skydance. That's yeah. what it sounds like to me. I'm not going to lie. So Spellbound, directed by Vicky Jensen, Shrek, will be the first Skydance film to release on Netflix, followed by Puku from Tangled's Nathan Greeno, Brad Bird's Ray Gunn, which Brad, I freaking love Brad Bird, so I'm down with that. Uh, and I heard it was supposed to be like retro futuristic and an untitled Jack and the Beanstalk project from Zootopia director, Rich Moore. I'm noticing a lot of Disney names. Yeah. So if he was, I'm just saying, if he was that problematic, do you think all of these people that worked at Disney 
would have left Disney to go work with him. These are all Disney people. These are, I mean, not the except Shrek for Shrek. person, but, but yeah. But still, like, animation is a very small industry, okay? And they were like, let's go work for John Lasseter instead of working for Disney. Like, or it doesn't do mean both. as much. They do probably do both. They probably work for both. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, well, so my understanding is Disney, yeah, they were kind of ousting a lot of these guys, too. But they left because they're like, screw you. I mean, or they saw the writing on the wall and they're like, yes. Well, but, well, to be fair, you're probably right the first time they were men. Except for the Vicky Jensen men. who was ever in Shrek. The other ones were all uh, Disney dudes. So they probably, you know, had to get gone because they were had, you know, they had the wrong genitalia. They did. They did. Theatrical releases are not part of the deal. According to Variety, the Skydance deal follows last week's news that Netflix is restructuring its animation division. That's, yeah, not coincidental. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. As part of that restructuring, Netflix plans to produce fewer animated features in-house and acquire more films from third-party producers, including Skydance. Which is what they used to do. That's kind of what they used to do. And it's so weird, though, because, you know, I did a video on I don't think you were in that video, but they were going all in on animation. They just bought some new compound. They were going to be like, they're going to go head to head with Disney and they're making such a big deal out of it. And then after like two years, they're like, yeah, Hey, let's just outsource it. After two years are like, Hey, yeah, we're tired of dealing with these people. That is probably too expensive. Yeah. It's too expensive. And they have to deal with animation, Twitter mm -hmm. and, and people that got hired from animation, Twitter and Tumblr and uh, all the uh, the baggage, I think, that goes with that. I'm more inclined to think it's that than the cost because even if you get it from somebody else and make a deal with Skydance or other studios, it's going to cost you a lot of money because you have to pay them for their time. They're pay paying for their people, and then you have to pay the overhead. They make a profit. Mm -hmm. So it's probably more expensive to hire somebody else. I'm more inclined to think it's uh, they don't want to deal with certain ter types of people. Yeah, Terps, I agree. Types. <laughs> types. Well, no, I figure figure they uh, they're probably looking at like, okay, so the production company can deal with the people on the, the headaches. Like, the headaches. You can deal with the people. We well, don't want to deal with on the, the service. We don't want to deal with. We don't want to deal with the nitty gritty and the, then the people. Yeah. So we got. <laughs> God, some of these people. I'm sorry, but it's just too soon for me to see John's fairy princess molesting face. <laughs> this man was my generation's Walt he Disney. He was molesting fairy princesses. He was, he was my generation's Walt Disney. He got drunk and sloppy and remind us all that even one of the most brilliant animation storytellers of our time is a slave to whatever his dick wants. Well, I hate to break it. Does <laughs> person know about some of those women in comics? Animation is in the state it's in partially because we don't have a spokesperson for the larger industry anymore. When John fell, the attorneys and accountants rushed uh, is turned... Wait, rushed is turned an art and a vehicle to spin animation into gold. I'll never forget his betrayal of us all. Who love and work in animation. Fuck you, John. Fuck Skydance and Netflix animation for hiring you. Take your millions well, and go the fuck away. If he's after everything his dick wants, I don't think I'd offer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I'm just saying. You let us down, John. It's all your fault. We're getting laid off. It's like, no, I think it's 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 all Wait, your... it's, it's, it's all his fault they're getting laid off. It's all, yeah. I okay. think it's I think it's actually the the fault of people like this. Who are constantly out on Twitter saying mm -hmm. dumb shit, and probably if they're saying dumb shit publicly, they're saying dumb shit privately, and causing their employers all kinds of headaches. And they're spending more time on social media than they are at their, their drawing boards. But uh, this guy says you're awfully quick to jump on the righteous bandwagon. I take it you have insider knowledge on the veracity of his alleged heinous crimes. No one denied the allegations against Laster, including himself. Uh, so here's the thing. Nobody really specified what the allegations were. Just he got too touchy feely with people, and he hugged. Here's people. the thing: if he was doing egregious stuff, if he was, if he was, uh, what, what does she call it? Fairy princess molesting. Yeah. Um, he would have had his ass kicked out. He wouldn't have been allowed to, to go out the rest of his contract. This is obviously <laughs> the same person. This is obviously the same person under a different name. Union worker B. <laughs> uh. Bob Iger was well aware of Laster's indiscretions. He was making vast amounts of money for Disney at Pixar and uh, in the parks and stuff. It wasn't until Iger felt they, they got every last drop out of We're John. I would have worded it differently. <laughs> Sorry. It wasn't until they milked John completely and fully. <laughs> I would have worded that completely differently. Um, now, look, you know. We don't know what happened. I mean, maybe there were things that went down. We don't know. I just know it couldn't have been that bad or they would have got rid of him sooner because they wouldn't want a lawsuit. I know a lot of people went, when he left, a lot of people went with him or, you know, later ended up there. So if he was so terrible, why are they still working with him? Yeah. And it's not just men. But I just thought that was worded um, 
So unfortunately. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So there are a lot of people that are jumping in here just, uh, and they're getting a lot of down votes too. And they're talking about, you know, how well, there's a lot of votes either way. Yeah. But, there's, yeah. there's not, but this is interesting. It said, this is the, you know, why are we covering this? It's a shoker. But if I'm not an Apple subscriber, I don't understand how this can be bad news. It means something important for artists working at Netflix animation layoffs. And it, yes, this is what this is what this means. They've got John Lasseter with a bunch of Disney veterans making movies for Netflix. Are they going to pick your shit up? Probably not. I'm just, I'm just being, and this goes back to you know everything being recalibrated, whether it's on the union level or whatever. And it's, it's going to come down to performance and past performance. And are you a name? Yes or no. If Netflix can advertise that they've got the guy who made all the greatest Pixar movies mm -hmm. making movies for them, even if the movies aren't quite as good. Because they... most people don't even really aren't up to date on what's going on or no. they don't care. You know, I'm going to yeah. be honest, normies don't know about it or don't care. Yep. Um, so, yeah, Netflix animation, the end. I, I think it's, it's the end of Netflix hiring Tumblr artists and giving them massive amounts of money. Well, what they're pissed about. Yeah. Oh yeah. We won't get more of that Shira shit. Oh, yeah. wow. Um, what they're pissed about is they have studios like Skydance and they want to, and they're outsourcing their animation to these places. That means they have to go work at these places for these people they don't want to work with. Yeah, pretty much. Like what, what if just by some chance, what if Skydance becomes the biggest game in town? What if it, and they're already pissed off at Netflix for allowing Dave Chappelle to be on the platform. They're not kicking certain people off the platform. They're basically like at Netflix, like you have to do something super, super egregious to get canceled. They're like, no, we like views and uh, we like money and people subscribe for that. If you told families who don't know anything about the John Lasseter allegations or anything like that, like, hey, the guy who made all those great Pixar movies, yeah, he's making movies for us now at Netflix and you're not gonna see this stuff on Disney Plus. Guess what? Mm -hmm. They're gonna come over and, you know, And this subscribe. is just one. It sounds like they're gonna be hiring other studios and they're gonna try to t make deals with places and then not do stuff in house. So yes, yep. it looks like possible, you know, Massive layoffs for depending on how much they're going to take out of out of house. Absolutely. So, anyway, it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens. I I don't think that the the shrieking is working as well as it, it used to. Yeah. We're gonna wrap this yep. up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.